everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be um telling you guys about the books that i'm going to be reading during the month of march and also the books that i've read during the month of february so let's begin um just before i start i'm going to say that i'm going to be participating in two the Tinkerbell Readathon and I'm going to post like a little chart of how the prom is going to be and all that and why but I'm going to follow that specific prom so yeah let's get started just because I'm trying many times to read it on here and I cannot do it <laughs> so yeah and also uh, this makeup is gonna inspire this look is inspired of the fairy uh, Rosetta so yeah it's kind of pink you know like her and her hair usually is put like that so yeah according to the theme I'm, I'm okay so the first book that I'm going to be reading during this month is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. I'm currently reading this and I'm obsessed with this book. I cannot put this down or well, until now, but I've been reading this a lot and I love it. Um, I'm on page 154 and I'm so obsessed with this book. Um, it's a slow um, pace of this is a slow paced book so it's going kind of slow in the beginning but it introduces you into this world into this and to the students and all that so it makes justice as to as to why it's slow but other than that right now i think it's really great so yeah i am going to finish this as soon as possible and during this month is Book one of Percy Jackson or The Lightning Thief by Rick Royan. Royden? Royden? I sorry if I said it wrong, I'm so bad at names. But anyway, uh, well, it's Percy Jackson. That's the only thing I know about Greek gods and all that. And I think this is perfect for one of the prompts of the readathon. And yeah, I've been wanting to read this for so long. I I had to be reading this for so long, but for some reason, I never got the chance to. So now this is the perfect time to read Percy Jackson. And I love the cover. It's really cool. I mean, really like it. I never. I got this in the thrift shop, and I was like, I had to get it. I had to get it. Not I was. I will never see it again. That happened again because I was going to buy two of the books one of one time that I found it. I did not buy it, and let, and it would take it took me weeks to find the first book. So yeah, anytime I see a Percy Jackson book, I will buy it with no hesitation. Anyway, a little rant, but yeah. Go to the next book. Another book that I am going to be reading this month is An Amber in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I hope I say it right. Uh, and this is going to be following again one of the prompts of the Tinkerbell readathon. Um, and I don't really know what this is about. Again, I know this is a really. Um, Kind of like old 2010s um, fantasy um, book, but I don't really know what this is about. All I know is about war and all that. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to like it, but I, again, I don't know really. I don't know what exactly this is about. And the next book that I'm going to be reading in this month, and I'm so excited about this book because. I wanted this book for so long and now I have this and I'm so excited for the third book I don't know if it's going to come around a couple weeks 
but I'm excited to be following the sequence of this um, novel, of this series, because I love Danny Brown, I mean, Chloe Brown, I love it, and I want to go and explore the other books that she has, Talia Hebert, amazing writer, I love it, oh no, I don't know, I have not read it, but I'm not going to love it because if Chloe Brown was good, this is going to be better. I know that. <laughs> I hope I don't disappoint myself. Another book that I'm going to be reading uh, is going to be In the Holidays by Christina Lauren. I've been wanting to read one of their books, so now this is the best time to get into this because I want to get more into their writing and their style. I heard a lot of people saying that they write such great books and I want to be into the same, into this world, into their world, you know? So yeah, I'm going to get more of them. This is not the only one, but I saw this on Walmart and I had to get it, so yeah. But then I'm going to be reading this month and I was supposed to read this during the last month but there's no worries there's still time you know I'm still going through this uh, and it is Hood Feminism Notes from Woman the a Woman for God by Mickey Kendall and it is perfect for uh, Women International Day I hope International Women's Day yeah sorry um, so yeah, it's perfect for that and I'm excited to read this. I'll be probably going to read this because none of them are really that big and I don't think I'm going to spend that much into each other. Hopefully we pray to that. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, I don't know if I'm going to be, um, going to be able to read this, but I'm hoping I get able at least to start this and it's the Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. This is a classic. I don't know what this is about, only thing I know that it's about a letter, I guess. And I heard everybody talking about this and I heard really good things about this. So I want to give this a shot and see how it is. It's not too long. It's only 200 pages, which is fine. I don't hate it for these. And yeah, so those are the books that I'm going to be reading during the month of March. So I'm so excited to, to read these books. Hopefully I'm able to get through it. Oh. Now I'm going to talk about the books that I read during the month of February, which is my wrap up. Wrap up portion. <laughs> okay. Um, the first book that I read during this month, I mean, last, during February, is The Vanishing Half by Brit Bennett. This book was amazing. Amazing. I love this so much. The writing is so unique in a way like i had not seen this writing in a long time and i don't know this makes me question a lot of things and no and this book talks about these sisters who they grew up together and they are twins so one day one of them well both of them they escape from their hometown the little town and we see how well, the reader sees how how they separate each other from one another once they are alone, and how their lives change so drastically from each perspective. And it's so I don't know I don't know how to describe this because um I enjoy it a lot, but there were times that I felt that this book was very personal and very like you know, sad and 
there were sad moments. There were very hard moments to read and to just digest what it happens. But it was, it was really good. I really like it. Um, I really didn't like the end. I thought that the, the end could have been better, in my opinion. But other than that, I like the characters overall. Uh, I think it's really good um, book for anybody who likes a contemporary uh, literary fiction. And I like everything about it. This setting was amazing. And yeah. So yeah, that's my opinion of this book. I get 4.5. No, I get 4 out of 5 because of that. I mean, it wasn't my favorite, but I I enjoy it a lot. So yeah, that's why. Another book that I read during this month is the autobiography of Malcolm X. I listened to this in audiobook, and I love this so much. I love the audiobook too. I think the narrator did a really great job to capture um, Malcolm's energy, you know. And I really enjoy it so much. I I think it was very powerful read, it's very inspirational, his life, his lessons, everything, everything about this book is really amazing and I want to read more about him. Like I said, I love listening about Malcolm X so I think it's a great read for anybody who's interested and also it talks about many stuff, many, many stuff that it can be related into right now, you know. So yeah, I get a 5 out of 5. Again, one of my favorites. Uh, the next book that I read during this month is The House in the Cerulean Sea by Deja and Clue. This book is so beautiful. So beautiful. I love this book so much. Uh, I really enjoy everything about this book. Um, it really gives me... It really taught me what it needed to taught me, you know? And it's so cool. It's so cute. It's so cute. That's the word, cute. Um, this book talks about this man who works at this company who are in charge into with this orphanage, and he is going to inspect the children and the people who works on this orphanage. So he is assigned to go to this house, and. They're, they are like magical creatures, kind of like monsters, you know? That's what I can give it to. Um, and he goes there and there's about the children, about the staff and all that. But the first, um, one, before that, once he goes there, he was uh, impressed. Once he walks to the to this orphanage, he is impressed about these children. He's very um, not really liking the environment at first, but once he learns about the children, about especially about the the teacher, he's able to like and enjoy the environment. Um, I enjoy everything. I enjoy every single character. There was not a character that I did not like. I didn't per personally. I didn't like Linus that much. I think he was really kind of mean at a certain point, and I didn't like the the romance. Well, let me explain. I like the romance, but I wish that it was um a bit more expanded. Um, I think it was very soon that I didn't get too much time to reflect to the romance. Yes, they were cute. They were cute together. Um, Linus and... What's his name? Sorry. I forgot his name. Um, give me a moment. Mr. Parnassus. Sorry. Parnassus. I think he's really a great guy. He's so cute. He's amazing with the children. And he's an angel. I, again, he's an angel. Anyway, um... I don't think they're great characters, but I think it would have been good if we were able to know more about them as a relationship. So yeah, I know it's more focused into the children in the world, but again, if they were, if they included that part of the book, I wish it could be longer, you know? So anyway, 
<laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's that's all. And again, my favorite character of, of them all are um, is Lucy. I think he's the best character, the best kid ever. And you cannot tell me wrong because he's the best. Again, amazing. Uh, give it four, four point five, four, <laughs> four point five out of five, and I think it's amazing. I love it, and I recommend this to anybody. Uh, it's very philosophic, philosophical, and a lot of questions, that, a lot of things, you know, that you're they're not able to answer, but it's more like they give into the reader to answer. I don't know. It's really, really cute, very really amazing. I love it. So yeah, that's everything about this um, TBR and wrap up of the month of March and February. I hope you like this video. Please uh, give it a like and subscribe and please follow me in all my social media. I'm so happy for all of you. Anyway, 